Hey YouTube, it's your girl Breezy Bree. Um, bringing you a new video. Um, so this is in regards to our last video, which I'll link above. Um, it's it is our March update video. So if you haven't seen that, go watch it. Even if you just watch the first part of it, you don't have to watch it all the way through. But at least the first part where I talk about the PBA, um, because you'll probably be confused if you've seen the title. So we're a part of a new league named the Good Pokemon Neighbor Lodge. Um, and I wanted to talk about my drafts because of course this will be coming to the channel. As you know, I love competitive battling. So let's kind of switch a little bit so I can kind of see the camera and I can kind of talk about my picks. Um, so this was a long, long draft just like the PBA. So we have a lot of new people um, joining us and some older people joining us from the PBA into this. So we're going to have a lot of different battle styles than what we're kind of used to. So on OU, I was drafted as number 8. Um, but we still got some good, some good Pokemon in that tier. So I went ahead and went with, I'll show you up above. Um, Mega Gardevoir, of course, is always going to be our Mega, um, if we can snatch her. She's just so versatile, and I just know how to work it with her. So, she is joining again this season, which is awesome. Uh, Jirachi is new to me. When we got down to it, there was a few Pokemon that I had listed, and I kept... Every time someone was drafting, I had to X them off my list. And, of course, Gengar was snatched up at this point. Um... Chansey was, uh, Clefable, Mega Metagross, um, Mew, uh, Landorus. So I went with Jirachi because it has that Steel plus Psychic and it's a nice Pokemon to use. I haven't used it before so I really wanted to use it. And our last one in OU was Dragonite. It was pretty high on my list to catch because it is so, it's a dragon type, it's super strong with Outrage, um, it's a versatile in anything, it's quick, speedy, and it can get the job done. Um, and we really didn't see any dragon types farther down in my picks of, for like UU, RU, and NU. I didn't really see any dragon types that I wanted to pick up, so Dragonite was my last one. So UU came in and I was like, hmm, we're going to go ahead and snatch up whatever we can. And actually, we got the rule for the second spot. Now, you guys all know that I love Suicune. Suicune is my first pick on anything, but of course, the first person that goes picks up Suicune. So, there goes our window for our water type and our bulky um, physical special split. So instead I went with my Lodic in you. My Lodic is power. Any of my uh, just random battles, you'll see that my Lodic is in my drafts for that. Um, just because my Lodic is power, like I said, it has recovers. Anything that you can really think of it can get, except for a fire type moves of course. But the next one that we went for is I needed a fire type on my team and of course you all know I love Rotom Heat. Rotom Heat is power in you um with a bolt switch um overheat anything that you can really think of thunderbolt anything so it was just a good switch initiative and it just was something that i really wanted um so in you you of course like i said suicune was taken and i really wanted to pick up something that was close to it but maybe on the other side of the spectrum so i picked up entei um, Entei, of course, is another fire type, but I thought, heck, why not? We have, you know, my Lodic to kind of buffer everything, and, of course, if people want to come at us with water types, I can put them in. Uh, we have some other ones down the row that can kind of take care of any water types that come in, so I wasn't too worried. I was just like, I need to pick up some, you know, grass types, some dark types, anything that can buffer it a little bit. So, that's what my last choice was for EU. Um, so then we moved to RU, and I was like 8th again, or 7th, one of the two. So I got kind of the bottom of the barrel, but not really. Um, so our first one was Venusaur, which actually, for, I'll let you guys in a little hit. 
Um, if Big Gardevoir would have got snatched up, I would have gone for Mega Venusaur because Mega Venusaur is power. Um, but like I said, Gardevoir was still open, so I picked her. But I did go for Aryu for Venusaur. Um, again, I use it in, um, even in OU. I use it just to mess around. Um, it's a good grass type. It's bulky. You can, you know, put some good moves on it. You can do whatever you really need to put a knockoff on it and you're good to go. So, Venusaur is a good pick for us. Um, the next one I went for is Jellicent. Now, I know we have two water types already on the team, but again, we have um, Venusaur to eat up hits. We have um, Jirachi to kind of buffer there too. So I did go ahead and go for Jellicent just to help with the water and the fire, kind of. Um, again, a bulky um, Jellicent, and we can, I haven't really played around with um, Jellicent, so we'll kind of see where it goes. And then our last one for RU was Gramble. Uh, I thought about this because we do have a fairy type with Mega Gardevoir, but I was like, we might as well pick up Gramble because it's another fairy type um, to kind of buffer anything else too that comes in for fairy. Um, and we have a lot of people that pick up dragon types, so it'll be a nice little physical um, fairy type for us. Then NU came around, and I was pretty bored at that point, I'm going to be very honest. Um, it was just tedious getting everybody under control to kind of draft. So, I was pretty low on it, low on the tier. I got kind of bottom of the barrel again. Um, I went for a shift tree for our first one, uh, for the dark type, um, as we don't have any dark types really yet. And that is a grass type as well, so I really wanted to put that on the team. Uh, Tauros was bottom of the barrel, but it can it can hit hard, so I thought, why not? Let's put it on the team. And Lyperd, um, just for, I don't know. It, it was just one of the picks that I had last, and I was like, I might as well pick it up. Um, at that point, I left because I had some other stuff to do, and honestly, I was totally checked out. Um, I told Logic to go ahead and throw um, either Chatot or... Growlithe on my team um, for our LC Mon, so he went ahead and scooped up Growlithe, um, which I really won't use unless I really feel like it, but Growlithe is on the team just for another fire type. Um, and then they put another tier in here, which is NFE, and I have no clue what that is. I don't even know if it's supposed to be like an extended NU um, tier, but... I went ahead and went for Tangela. Tangela can put in some work with an Eevee light, slap it on, you got a wall. Um, so I was like, why not put that on the team? So we did pick up the Tangela for our last Pokemon. So this season, we will be called the Davenport Myotix, um, because Myotix is amazing and I have some feelings that this will be a good team around. We do have some very crucial spots that could definitely take us down, but I feel like all around we have a good versatile team um, to kind of help with any weaknesses we have. So let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys are seeing any like holes in it, definitely let me know so I can get it taken care of. Maybe we can switch out some Pokemon if that's even a rule, but I feel pretty comfortable with this team. There's a lot of Pokemon I haven't used before and some that are returning from old seasons. So. Hope you guys enjoyed.